Chapter 4 MS Word Advanced Feature About the Chapter Headers and Footers Footnotes and EndNote Paragraph Formatting Formatting Microsoft Word Document Microsoft Word is a word processing software that has become very popular due to its easy to use and powerful features. It is used to create organized and flawless documents. It has various features by which we can create professional looking document. Mail merge is one of features of Word by which you can create a single letter containing standard information. The address of reception are included automatically one by one from data source where you define them. This feature reduces the time and effect of each time at the time of printing changing address. In this chapter, you will learn about some of the wonderful features of Word. Headers and footers. Header is placed at the top of a page of a document. The footer on the other hand is placed at the bottom of the page in the document. The header and footer usually contain the same information such as page, number, date, photograph, time, etc. The various steps to set header and footer are Step first, click on header or footer option from the header and footer group of the insert tab. A built-in style box appear on the screen. Step 2. Choose a style of your choice. Step 3. The header footer design tab will display on the ribbon. Step 4. Choose the information, data, time, page number, etc. Or type in the information that you would like to have in the header or footer. Quick fact. By default, the header is printed 0.5 inches from the top of the page and the footer is printed 0.5 inches from the bottom of the page. The header and footer toolbar contain button that can help you automatically enter important information in your header and footer. On clicking the page number in the header and footer group, on design tab, you will get a drop down menu that contains format page number option. It opens the page number format dialog box so that you can format your page number in the header or footer. You can also insert data, time, picture, or a clip art on the header or footer of the page. Footnote and EndNote a footnote is generally placed at the bottom of a page whereas the end note comes at the end of a document. A footnote is used in a document to give comments or reference for the text. It helps the reader to understand the text by providing some extra information in it. The end note is mostly used to give reference for the source of the text. The various steps to insert a footnote or endnote in our documents are Step 1. Go to Reference tab on the ribbon. Step 2. Click on Insert Footnote button of Footnote Group to type in the footnote. You can also insert footnotes or endnotes by clicking on the arrow of the Footnotes Group. A footnote or endnote box appears on the screen. Choose the desired option to change format style and click Insert to apply the change. Formatting Microsoft Word Document Formatting is layout. It refers to the appearance of your Word documents. Formatting is the changing and arranging text in a document to make it attractive. You can format your document by changing font, size of font, font style, adjusting line spacing, Margins, tab setting, alignment of text, etc. This formatting can be done by using font group and paragraph group in the home tab. Changing font. Font is the look and the shape of the letters of the text. MS Word 2010 builds in various types of font. Steps to change font of the text are Step 1. 
Select the text to change the font. Step 2nd. Click on the Home tab. Step 3rd. Click on the drop down list arrow of the font button of the font group. Step 4. Move arrow pointer or up and down arrow key from keyboard to previous the font type. Step 5th. Choose a font type and click on it or press enter key. You will see your font type has been changed. Changing font size. The size of letter or character is called font size. You can increase and decrease your font size as per your need. Steps to change the font size are Step 1st. Select the text of which you want to change the font. Step 2nd. Click on the Home tab. Step 3rd. Click on the drop down list arrow of the font size button in the font group. Step 4th. Move arrow pointer or up and down arrow key from keyboard to review the font size. Changing font color. You can apply different colors to the text by font color option of the font group. To color the text step are Step 1st. Select this text to change the font. Step 2nd. Click on the Home tab. Step 3rd. Click on the drop down list arrow of the font color button in the font group. It will display a color box. Step 4. Click on the color to apply it on your selected text. Highlighting text. Step 1st. Select the text to change the font. Step 2nd. Click on the Home tab. Step 3rd. Click on the drop down list arrow of text highlight color of the font color button in the font group. It will display a color box. Step 4. Choose your color box and click on it to apply. Step 1st. Select the text to change the font. Step 2nd. Click on Home tab. Step 3rd. Click on the bold option to make your text bold. Similarly, click on the italic and underline. Paragraph formatting. You can format a paragraph base using paragraph group. It makes your document more attractive. This group makes your document more attractive by following. Alignment. The way in which text is placed in your document is called alignment. You can align your text as left, center, right and justified. Steps to align your paragraph are Step 1st. Select the paragraph or place cursor within the paragraph. Step 2nd. Click Home tab. Then click Appropriate Alignment option from the paragraph group. Let's recall. A word processor is a package that processes textual matter and create organized and flawless documents. The header and footer usually contain the same information such as page number, data, paragraph, time, etc. A footnote is generally placed at the bottom of a page whereas the end note comes at the end of a document. Formatting is changing and arranging text in our documents to make it attractive. The way in which text is placed in the document is called alignment.